How's it going, people? I do believe we're up to chapter three of Ether. And I'm just going to do one chapter because I'm having some neighbor problems. They probably think the same thing about me. But I try to keep the noise down and I will limit myself to one chapter. Also, I will just have to pick that up later. Throwing my beer cans in the trash can might have been making too much noise as well. Yeah. All right, let's do this. And quietly. Chapter 3 of Ether. The Finger of the Lord. Which one? This one? Jesus Christ shows himself in the spirit to the brothers of Jared. The luminous stones, more magic rocks. The interpreters, a record yet to come. One, and it came to pass. Uh, that, the brother of Jared. Now the number, this is in printicles here. Now the number of the vessels which had been prepared were, was eight, in printicles. Went forth unto the mount which they called the Mount Shelem because of its exceeding height and did molten out of a rock 16 small stones and they were white and clear. Okay. Clear white. Um, even as transparent as glass something they probably shouldn't know about yet, I don't think. I, didn't the Romans come up with glass? All right, maybe I'm wrong. Not a historian. Chime in. I think they're wrong. And he did carry them in his hands upon the top of the mount and cried again unto the Lord, saying to O Lord, thou hast said that we must be an compassed about by the floods. Now behold, O Lord, and do not be angry with thy servant because of his weakness before thee. For he, for we know that thou art holy and dwellest in the heavens, and that we are unworthy before thee because of the fall of our natures have become evil continually. Nevertheless, O Lord, thou hast given us a commandment that we must call upon thee, that from thee we may receive according to our desires. 3. Behold, O Lord, thou hast smitten us because of our iniquity, because of our iniquity and hast driven us forth. And for these many years we have been in the wilderness. Nevertheless, thou hast been merciful unto us. O Lord, look upon me in pity. How about get on with it? God damn. And turn away thine anger from this thy people, and suffer not that they shall go for the crosses raging deep in darkness. But behold, these things which I have molten out of rock. Well, fine, he's getting to the point. Wow. All that groveling first. You know, just for form's sake, I guess. For, and I know, O Lord, that thou hast all power and can do whatsoever thou wilt. 
for the benefit of man. Therefore, touch these stones. O oh Lord, with thy finger, and prepare them that they may shine forth in darkness. You have to shake them every once in a while so they get... No. And they shall shine forth unto us in the vessels which we have prepared, that we may have light while we cross the sea. Five. Behold, O Lord, thou canst do this, and there, there's no apostrophe there, so he means thou can, canst, actually means you can very well. Yeah. We know that thou art able to show forth great power which looks small unto the understanding of man. Six. And it came to pass, finally, that when the brother of Jared, why don't they just call him by name? He's the one doing everything. The brother of Jared had said these words, Behold, the Lord stretched forth his hand and touched the stones, one by one with his finger. And the veil was taken from off the eyes of the brother of Jared. And he saw the finger of the Lord. And it was as the finger of a man, like unto flesh and blood, just like it. <clears throat> and the brother of Jared fell down before the Lord, for he was struck with fear. He even forgot his name, but he knows his brother's name. Uh. I'm J Jared's brother. Ask him what my name is. I forgot. I talk to God and do molten shit on rocks and, and seem to be doing everything, you know. But Jared thinks of these things for him sometimes. Anyway, let's get through this. All right. Seven. And the Lord saw that the brother of Jared had fallen to the earth, and the Lord said unto him, Arise, get your ass back up here. Arise, why hast thou fallen? All right, that's probably a little more, that's probably proper etiquette. That's not the way they said it in my household. Eight, and he saith unto the Lord, I saw the Finger of the Lord. And I feared lest he should smite me. Funny way to talk to somebody. For I knew not that the Lord had flesh and blood. Yeah. Crackers and Kool-Aid. <laughs> Nine. And the Lord said unto him, Because of thy faith, thou hast seen that I shall take upon me flesh and blood. Oh, that's right, we're back before Jesus was born again. We're contiguous with Genesis. Hey. All right. I shall take upon me flesh and blood. And never has man come before me with such exceeding faith as thou hast. For were it not so, ye could not have seen my finger. 
Sawest thou more than this? He's actually asking him how much he saw. That's God who knows everything. <laughs> Adam, Eve, where are ya? <laughs> that was explained to me. He actually knew. Uh, he's just messing with him, I guess. <sighs> Ten. And he answered, Nay, Lord, show thyself unto me. Eleven. And the Lord said unto him, Believest thou the words which I shall speak? Twelve. And he answered, Yes, Lord, I know that thou speakest the truth, for thou art a God of truth. Just take his word for it. And canst not lie. See, canst not lie. That's not a ne double negative. Uh, canst actually means can. It's just a longer way of saying it. It's with an ST at the end to sound all fancy. Uh, Thirteen. And when he had said these words, behold, the Lord showed himself before him and said, Because thou knowest these things, ye are redeemed from the fall. He's not guilty for Eve eating a forbidden piece of fruit. He's off the hook for that crime he didn't do anyway. Therefore, ye are brought back into my presence. Therefore, I show myself unto you. Fourteen. Behold, I am he who was who was prepared from the foundation of the world to redeem my people. Behold, I am Jesus Christ. I am the Father and the Son. In me shall all mankind have light. So they don't have those magic rocks. And that eternally, even they who shall believe on my name, and they shall become my sons and my daughters. Fifteen. And never have I showed myself unto man whom I have created, for never has man believed in me as thou hast. Seest thou that ye are created after mine own image? Yea, even all men were created in the beginning after mine own image. This is the best he could do. He's God. I thought he was just a material he was working with. Turns out he's got the same he's made from the same materials. And he's outside time and space and reality and sanity. Behold, this body, which ye now behold, is the body of my spirit. And man, man have I created after the body of my spirit. And even as I appear unto thee to be in the spirit, will I appear unto my people in the flesh. Seventeen. And now, as I, Moroni, said I could not make a full account of these things which are written, therefore it sufficeth me to say that Jesus showed himself unto this man in the Spirit. See, he's saving gold by doing that. He's cut to the chase. Even after the man manner, and in the likeness of the same body, even as he showed himself unto the Nephites. Wait, we're not in the Jaredi account. We just went back to Moroni. See, that's the confusing part about this. You know, he's paraphrasing their account for him. 
Because he's running out of gold. Uh, 18. And he ministered unto him, even as he ministered unto the Nephites. And all this, that this man might know that he was God, because of the many great works which the Lord had showed unto him. Probably the parts they had to leave out. 19. And because of the knowledge of this man, are we talking about Jared's brother, this man? Give the guy a name already. He's doing everything so far. This man. He could not be kept from beholding within the veil. And he saw the finger of Jesus. Which, when he saw, he fell with fear. For he saw, wait, for he knew that it was the finger of the Lord. And he had faith and he had faith no longer, for he knew nothing. For he knew nothing doubting. Wait. Okay, he had faith beyond faith, so they had to call it something else. He had no doubting. He was doubtless. <sighs> Twenty. Wherefore, having this perfect knowledge of God, he could not be kept from within the veil. Therefore, he saw Jesus. And he did minister unto him. 21. And it came to pass, just in the nick of time, that the Lord said unto the brother of Jared, Behold, thou shalt not suffer these things, which ye have seen and heard, to go forth unto the world, until the time cometh, that I shall glorify my name in the flesh. Wherefore, ye shall treasure up the things which ye have seen and heard, and show it to no man. 22. And behold, when ye shall come unto me, ye shall write them, and shall seal them up. Got caught right there. I hate that. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, man. I hate those. Yeah. Must have been that breed of Supreme. Okay. I totally lost my place. I know it's 21. Um, and Lord said unto the brother Jared, Behold, thou shalt not suffer these things which ye have seen and heard to go forth unto the world until the time cometh that I shall glorify my name in the flesh. <coughs> there it is. Wherefore, ye shall treasure up the things which ye have seen and heard, and show it to no man. There, I got it right. 22. And behold, when ye shall come unto me, ye shall write them, and shall seal them up, that no man can interpret them. For ye shall write them in a language that cannot be read. 23. And behold, these two stones which I give unto thee, and ye shall seal them up also with the things which ye shall write. 24. For behold, 
the language which ye shall write, I have confounded. Wherefore, I will cause in my own due time that these stones shall magnify to the eyes of men these things which ye shall write. 25. And when the Lord had said these words, he showed unto the brother of Jared all the inhabitants of the earth, which had been and also all that would be. And he withheld them not from his sight, even unto the ends of the earth. 26. For he had said unto him, in times before, that he would believe in him, that he could show unto him all things. It should be shown unto him, therefore, the Lord could not withhold anything from him. For he knew that the Lord could show him all things. 27. And the Lord said unto him, Write these things, and seal them up, and I will show them them in mine own due time unto the children of men. 28. And it came to pass that the Lord commanded him that should seal up the two stones which he had received, and show them not, until the Lord should show them unto the children of men, those heavenly nads. <laughs> That's it. For three, it was interesting. I think I like uh, the Book of Ether. It's funny. <laughs> Let me know if you learned something, because I probably missed it. <laughs> hey, nobody banged on the door. <laughs> From now on, I'm going to keep my videoing a little briefer, spread it out more. Maybe uh, maybe I can avoid problems here for, for a while. Anyway, it gives me a chance to think of some new ways to do things. Let me know if you have any ideas. Uh, or whatever. Uh, stay tuned. We're going to finish this. We're almost done. Peace. The fuck. Out. <coughs> And have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is you're having. Because I just did. Bye.